In 2021, when we learned that the VA was expanding their overall presence in the region, but was unfortunately forced to close the Vanita Clinic due to the loss of the lease, we were all concerned. My father was concerned for people that hold a special place in his heart. He connected our health team and our business leadership and the VA and helped all of them see what wasn't there in front of them, what, but what could be there if they were willing to dream and work together, and most important, put the interest of veterans in front of everything else. The Veterans Administration announced a request for proposals for lease space to serve as a veterans outpatient clinic in Benita serving our area. We at the Cherokee Nation and Cherokee Nation Business submitted a proposal and fortunately our proposal was selected because the nation and the Veterans Administration share the same goals and visions of serving our heroes' health needs. I've been coming up here for probably 13, 14 years, and then they shut it down, and I don't drive that good anymore, and I can drive up here real easily. It's only 13 miles. <laughs> this is the first time ever to be able to witness such an event like this. We're talking about over 1,200 veterans that will be able to get their care here in the area um, within Bonita. So we thank you for that. It is the best health care I've ever had in my life here in Bonita. So I, I really believe that's going to continue on, especially with the Cherokee influence. With those two working together, I, and especially with the history I've got with this VA here, uh, I think it's going to be a good one.